You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Bookfish thing, as you guys all know, uh, the media is coming after him, and the players now are coming after him too because uh, uh, world number four and a uh, Greek tennis player, Stefanos. City Pots. Novak Djokovic making us look like fools with Australian open drama. And guys, there's hit pieces out there on ESPN. They're going after Djokovic. Um, I can't remember the guy's name. But um, let's focus on this because this is probably the player that has come down probably the hardest on Novak Djokovic. Uh, Greek tennis star Stefanos uh, City Pots believes Novak Djokovic played by his own rules when it came to preparing to enter Australia for the Australian Open. Quote, for sure, he has been playing by his own rules and has been doing uh, something that not many players have the guts to go and do, especially after the ATP announced certain criteria for players to enter the country, Sidipas told uh, India's WIO News per Fox Sports Australia. I didn't know there was a Fox Sports Australia. I didn't. But either. he says that. Uh, what do, What do you make of that, man? He says that Djokovic is making a fool out of them, and he's been in the rules doing his own thing. This is probably the hardest criticism from any player. the The media hasn't went after the Australian Open, and they haven't went after any other players whatsoever. So, if anything, from a media standpoint. They're all sitting back looking brave, stunning, and courageous because they've gotten a jab. He hasn't hurt them a bit. And I could even take it a step further. A lot more non-tennis fans know about the Australian Open and things surrounding the Australian Open than they ever did before because of Novak and what's going on here. Right. I mean, let's face it. We cover tennis, but we cover tennis, what, a video every 10, 12 days maybe, 15 days to a month? And pretty much the only tennis videos we ever put out has been Novak Djokovic and Naomi Osaka. Right. That, that was right. pretty much it. Now, yeah, Naomi so Osaka was out there quitting, and the media was giving her a pass. Now, Novak Djokovic wants to play. They don't want him to play. And I still believe they're going to kick him out. Because uh, even City Pass saying um, he accused uh, uh, Djokovic of making the majority of players preparing for the tournament look like they, they're they all fools or something. Because okay, they, all, so they all got the jab. That raises another question then. Uh, if If they allow him to play... Are we going to see further backlash from players Ooh. up to and including not playing? No, I don't think we the players are not going to play. I believe that that crowd in Australia is going to be hostile towards uh, Djokovic. Because think of that. To actually get in that stadium, man, you are definitely going to have to be vats. There's no doubt about it. And they're going to feel like well, he's coming into our country because those fans in the stands are going to be pretty much all Australians. Right, right. And so they're looking at him, unvats, uh, fraudulent stuff on his immigration form. They're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna let him know it, man. And not only that, their government is gonna hear it from them too. This thing is not over, man. It, it can get so really ugly. So let me ask you a question. Do you think he's putting himself at physical risk by playing in this tournament? Physical risk as far as like um, a uh, having an actual incident during the tournament. I, I don't think so because um, uh, tennis fans, it's not like an NBA court where they're right next to you. It's not like that. And usually when they play, when there's actually um, a service game, when they're serving the ball, you have to be quiet. And if okay. there's any kind of um, 
let's say somebody just um, screams, hey, Djokovic, you suck or whatever, get the jab, get the jab. The the umpire is going to halt play and tell the crowd not to make any noise during the, during the service game. Okay. So, so you it's don't, not, it's not you like don't an think, NBA arena or anything. So you don't think there, he's running the risk of somebody literally coming out of the crowd and doing something physically, causing physical harm to him. They wouldn't Man, make they, it to him. The only disruption you ever see at tennis tournaments, you'll have like a streaker, and that's really about it. Now, this is okay. a different circumstances here. Somebody actually going down there and being hostile towards him on the court, telling him to get the jet. I don't see that happening. I just don't. You got to remember some of these people that are out there that are pro jab are lunatics, man. I know that. I know that. Lunatics. But I expect him to get a lot of booze. I really do. Yeah. Yeah. Which is ridiculous in itself. Yeah. So, okay. Well, I just wondered. I was like, is he putting himself in physical harm just agreeing to go out there? No. And players okay. are going to play. I mean, uh, City Pass is uh, number four. That'll be interesting, though, if Djokovic plays. And um, I don't know how the seeding works. If City Pass and uh, Djokovic play in the semifinals, that'll be interesting. Or if they played in the finals, that'll be interesting, too, because they actually played in the finals. In uh at the French Open last year, and Djokovic won. So in City Pass, not nearly as good as uh Djokovic. So we don't think that a player, let's say they end up getting matched up with him, we don't think that a player could theoretically decide to boycott that match because they're playing him. You don't think that would happen? No, that's not going to happen because then they'll lose the match by not playing. It'll be a walkover. Those players don't want to lose. What if what if they are this ain't uh, the Milwaukee Bucks, man. You you don't play in tennis, you lose the match. And uh, yeah, we, there's no boycott. Yeah, I mean, I know that, but I'm saying could somebody that has an insane because I'm sure there's somebody in tennis that's got the other end of the spectrum in political thinking when it comes to the jab. Right. In other words, they're very, very, very pro jab that they could decide they want to jump out there, be brave, stunning, and courageous, and boycott the match with Novak Djokovic. Because let's be real, if somebody did that, oh, the mainstream media is going to start blowing that tennis player. They're <laughs> going to, you know stunning what I mean. Brave, heroic. Oh, they're going to, yeah, yeah. It will be a porno movie from the damn mainstream media. Yeah, I mean, now, that that player will be elevated especially if it's a no name that player would be elevated on a a world level from media coverage all of a sudden that i mean that would take over the cycle for like 2 days straight that player everybody'd yeah. be like oh my god that's so brave to step out there and take this stand against Novak blah 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 plus what an example for everybody uh, encouraging the jab, and and uh, we know how this shit works. It takes on a life of their own. CNN, Don Lemon would have him on the on his primetime show, probably wiping yeah. away tears. I mean, you get what I'm saying. It would be a huge. Well, let's just be honest. It might be a huge uh, financial benefit for a player to off, step off up. The court. And, yeah, sure, sure. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.